Hello guys. If you installed a new window or you change your computer or whatever and you have a game file and you want to install the game again. Uh, this method basically works for every single game on Epic Launcher. Uh, so let me show you how that works. Go to your games folder or where your game is located. Mine is uh, in games. There is a uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 files. These are like uh, 100 gigabytes of files. This uh, this method also works with the uh, you know offline files. If you have a GTA offline game uh, with 60 you know uh, gigabyte of files, this also the Epic Launcher also reads those files. So this is complete game. So just rename this folder to whatever one two three. Uh, GTA 1, 2, 3 or whatever just uh, open your epic launcher and uh, install Grand Theft Auto 5 I'll uh, install in the same directory where my games folder is so install this might take some time Okay, so when download is uh, started, when it uh, you know it uh, gets to five or ten MBs, you just uh, pause the downloading and uh, exit Epic Launcher. Just exit it from you know uh, close it from the bottom here. So it is closed completely now. So go to your games folder there is uh, another folder created you can see gta5 it is a 6 mb folder so this is my original folder uh, gta grand theft auto 5 files just uh, cut all these files from this folder and uh, place them right there skip skip the dot eg store file because uh, you don't need that and uh, just replace all the files except .eg store file so just all the files are placed just uh, open your epic launcher again okay so just go to your library and resume the downloading so you know we already placed the game file so when you resume the downloading uh, it will be like you know verifying all these files because all the files are in the in that folder it is verifying like 17 person This verification will take uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes depending on your computer hardware. Uh, after the verification it will check for missing files. If there are missing files it will download those or if there is any update it will update. So here uh, it is downloading 263 MB of data. So this is not that bad and after it is done you can just play right away so thanks for watching if you have any question you can just ask and comment down below